Welcome back, Graphic Design. We are in week nine, and we have finished up our Surrealism project, so we are ready to move on to another Photoshop project. Um, and so you're going to be learning all about painting in Photoshop. So this is very different than video editing or um, image editing that you've been doing um, over the last few weeks. Um, and so we're going to be using some new tools. Um, some different tools in a new way, and we're gonna have some fun with it. Um, I really like this project. It takes some practice, it takes some time, but what I've heard from students in the past is once you get the hang of it, it's kind of addicting, it's kind of fun, um, a different version of painting. And so here we are. Um, for today, you're doing great, you're watching your weekly update. Um, you need to post for this week's discussion. And so this week is, do you like to paint? Okay, so very relevant. Um, if so, what do you paint? What do you use? Um, go into details for me. And if not, have you ever considered digital painting instead of traditional? Um, and you can expand upon that and say, do you feel like this is um, the same amount of skill? Do you think that like digital painting is, um, how is that the same or different from traditional painting? And if you're really not sure about digital painting, um, then you might wait to post on this discussion post towards the end of the week after you've done at least the first practice assignment because you are going to be digital painting this week and you will get to decide if you feel like this is um, the same or, um, or how different it is from actual painting. So um, after you're done with that, then you're gonna do your first assignment. So this is in the prep work for your unit five portrait painting um, folder. And that is, you're going to practice painting an apple. Okay, and so you're gonna find a bunch of tips and tricks. Um, there is a tutorial that you're gonna be doing, and this is what it looks like. So you guys can see, um, there's a couple different videos. So you will um, open up this assignment in Schoology and you will first see, first watch this basic painting tools video. Not super long, but goes through some very basic things that you need to know when you start painting. Then here is where you're gonna spend most of your time. Um, you're gonna create a blank 10 by 10 Photoshop document. Um, you are going to paste a nice resolution of something. You can just do an apple. Um, that's what they do here. Or you can do like a pear or some other kind of fruit if you'd like. Um, needs to be simple, but still like a real image so that you can try and get those real details. And you're gonna follow along with this tutorial. Um, pay attention to layers. Um, try and use your stylist. Some other tips include um, making sure that you're taking note of some of the keyboard shortcuts. So when you go to use your brush tool, always click B instead of having to mouse over there. Um, when you're trying to like zoom in and zoom out a lot, make sure you're using those keyboard tools so that you can um, you can make sure you get into those little details and you're not trying to do everything from far away, okay? So graphic designers always zoom in as they're working on main parts, but then zoom out as they're looking at the big picture. Um, you're gonna be using the mixer brush, which is new for most of us and pretty awesome. You can see how these colors are mixing right in here. That is all because of the mixer brush. You're gonna use that a lot next week, so make sure you pay attention to that. Um, and you're gonna be using the eyedropper tool all the time, okay? So you'll be able to like eye drop over here to find colors. You don't have to try and figure out what the colors are. This tool does it for you. And so um, shortcut for eyedropper is the I, shortcut for brush tool is the B. I would write those down and use those all the time, but you might need to go back to your tools inventory to remember some of those things. Um, so you're gonna follow along with this tutorial it's pretty, um, the tutorial itself is about 30 minutes, um, but they like fast forward. So the process of learning how to paint something like this and get all the details does take some serious effort and some practice. So that's why I'm giving you multiple days to do this one assignment to create this one apple, because I think it's really important to be able to take time with that practice and really 
learn this skill. Okay, so that's what this is. And if you need to rewind on the tutorial, do it. Okay, go back and forth. Um, then you will snip and paste your apple, just like you see here, right here, and then submit that. So if I go back to our, there we go. Um, you have like part of Wednesday and then all of Thursday and Friday to work on that. On Monday, um, there is a brush assignment and I have a video where I show you how to add more brushes to Photoshop. Um, and so you'll be able to go in there. This is kind of what it's gonna look like, um, but you'll get to try out and download a ton of different brushes. It's pretty simple to do. And then just number them and snip and paste it into this assignment. Um, you have Monday and Tuesday to do that and then get all those things turned in. So your two assignments and your weekly discussion and you will be ready for next week. Um, next week, you are going to start your portrait painting. So you're gonna use all the skills that you practiced this week with the apple. And um, we are going to be painting um, a self-portrait. So hopefully you have a self-portrait picked out as well from your digital art photography unit, okay? So lots happening this week. I'm so excited to see what you're doing. Let me know if you need any help. You can always email or pop into office hours. Have a great day.